Hello everybody, welcome to Manswood PJ. Today's date, May 19, 2016. Our discussion is going to be on supplication and to supplicate. In Matthew 6, 9-13, After this manner therefore pray, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, that will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Philippians 4, 67, Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. And peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. 1 Thessalonians 5.17 Pray without ceasing. 1 Peter 5.7 Casting all your care upon him for he cares for you. James 5.16 Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that you may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. Now, this is a word I had to look up because I didn't totally understand it. So supplication defined as a noun comes from the Latin verb supplicate, which means to plead humbly. While a supplication is often thought as a religious prayer, and it is used at least 60 times in the Bible, it can logically be implied to any situation in which you must entreat someone in power to help or favor. Still carries with it an aura of religiosity and deep entreaty and should not be used to describe just any simple request. Jesus showed his disciples how to supplicate through the Lord's Prayer. When we pray, we need to truly mean it in our heart and God will hear you. We need to pray unceasingly. Once you think of this today, have a blessed day.